If your day is a blur of Gmail threads, calendar conflicts, and Chrome tab overload, steal these eight power moves to work smarter with Calendly and Google together. Number one, connect Google Calendar and Google Meet to Calendly. Head to your integrations and apps tab on Calendly, search for Google, click Google Calendar, and then click connect. Authenticate. And now that you're connected, Calendly is set up to check your Google Calendar for conflicts and block unavailable times and automatically add new bookings to your Google Calendar. Connecting Google Calendar also connects Google Meet, two for one special. So now when you're creating a new event type, you can add Google Meet as the default location. So when someone books this meeting type with you, that Google Meet link is automatically generated and added to your calendar invite. No extra steps. Number two, add your Calendly link to your Gmail signature. Head to your Gmail, click open your settings, and scroll down until you see the signature section. Add a Calendly link to any signature. Here, I'm adding my quick sync meeting type, but feel free to add whatever Calendly link makes the most sense to you. Click apply and scroll down to save. Now, every email you send gives your recipient the chance to book time with you, no back and forth required. Numbers three through five are all powered by Calendly's Chrome extension. So let's start by downloading the extension. Head to the Chrome web store, search for Calendly and click add to Chrome. Once installed, be sure to pin it so it stays super easy access in your toolbar. Now for the tips. Number three, share your availability without leaving Gmail. When you compose or respond to an email, you can click this Calendly icon in the toolbar and access your most recent event types. Insert a link to your booking page or offer time slots directly in your email. This lets you add specific clickable time slots directly into your email, which looks super professional, saves your recipient a few clicks, and gives you full control over the times that you're proposing. Number four, color code your Calendly events in Google Calendar. Head to your Google Calendar and toggle on this setting. Turn all your Calendly events blue so you can easily differentiate between important external appointments and internal meetings and focus blocks. Number five, Take follow-up actions directly from Google Calendar. Head to any past Calendly event, hit follow up, and here you can mark a no-show, book your next meeting and more, all without leaving your calendar. Number six, automate communications from your Gmail address. Head back to Calendly's integration and apps page and select Gmail for workflows. Connect, authenticate, Now let's head to the workflows page. Note that this is a paid feature. All the other features I showed were free, but it's totally worth it. Let me show you why. Workflows are essentially email and text templates that you can use to send to yourself and your invitees to keep everyone super organized and in the loop. Let's set one up using a thank you email as an example. Click add workflow, customize when the workflow sends, what it says using these content variables, and where it sends from. Now your automated emails will show up in your sent folder and replies will go straight to your Gmail inbox. You've kept things more organized for yourself and more personal for your recipients. No more no reply emails. Number seven, embed your booking page directly into your Google site. Let's head to your event types, click share, add to website, and here are your options. Let's choose inline embed for this example. Click to copy the code and then head over to your Google site. Click on the embed button, tab to embed code and paste it right here. You'll see a preview of what this might look like. Click insert. Then go ahead and resize if necessary and you can preview this to see what it'll look like to the public. Now, your website visitors can book time with you without leaving your page. Number eight, track booking page performance with Google Analytics. 
head back to Calendly's integrations and apps page and click Google Analytics. Like workflows, this is a paid feature, but it can really help you optimize your business based on scheduling trends. Go to setup, click edit. Now head to your analytics and copy a measurement ID for one of your web streams. Head back to Calendly and paste it here. Click save and within 24 hours, data should be flowing straight from Calendly into Google Analytics. And there you have it, eight powerful ways to uplevel your scheduling with Calendly and Google. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more productivity tips and let us know your favorite in the comments below. Thanks and happy scheduling.